Hello everybody, welcome back. So we will now perform EM optimization on this structure. Uh, one thing I wanted to, you to note is that if you double click on any of these lines, it shows the value in terms of variable. And the variable it is getting from is the, it is coming from this schematic, the corresponding schematic of this EM structure. So what we will do is that we will take a note of these values. And then what we'll do is uh, to perform the EM optimization, we'll go file and new or what you can do is you can go here in the uh, main window of ADS and you can open a new structure here and that we will call uh, BLC EM and say Optim1. So we went to the main window and we got, a, we are doing the EM optimization directly from the layout window. So we created a layout window by clicking on this layout icon and create layout here. Uh, create layout. Don't show this message again. And what we will do is we'll go here EM and component parameters. And here we will change this to sub network. And here we will define our variable. Okay. So we are going to perform the EN or EM optimization using the sub network technique. There is another perturbation tec technique as well. But for this one, this subnetwork is, and for most of the design with that we're doing in this course, subnetwork optimization is great. So what we'll do now is that we will, have, we will define all those variables that we had in the schematic and that that layout structure was using. So we will, first example, we know that W50 we have, and we will change this value to 132.34, although you need not to define as I have emphasized again and again, you need not to be that precise, but just for uh, to keep everything easy. Uh, say L50, I have changed that to 400 because we needed a bit longer line to be able to solder the uh, the SMA connector. This was 220.887. Or let me make it 220 or 221 just to show you one thing that I wanted to do. Then I have LH and let's keep it to, although the value is 1032.04, so I will just write 1032, add, and then the next value is, I actually took a picture of that variable list in my mobile phone, so that's why I have here. 131.5 or so approximately and then LV is 1161 approximately. So we entered the value of those uh, variables that we have in this schematic and on which that layout is based and say okay. All right, so just for sanity check, you can go here EM component parameters and you can check all these values again and see if that corresponds to approximately almost the same as uh, what we have there. Now this value is the, the value of those variables are now available here. Now what you do is you have this schematic just say control A and control C copy this one here and close all this you don't need this anymore. And in this new schematic that you just, sorry, EM schematic that you just created in the layout window, just paste it here and escape and zoom fit. Now, uh, what you see here is uh, uh, compared to the uh, last time, like, you know, because we didn't uh, put the exact value and because of that it might show this kind of you know the what does it mean is that the connection is not perfect there if you zoom in by using the mouse scroll button you'll see this kind of uh, behavior so somehow that kind of thing is things happen so you have to be uh, you have to be careful about that and one way to fix this is to go back here and define the parameter exactly what was there and let me try there. Sometimes like when you uh, do this kind of thing and there is mismatch or you have changed the structure or size, what you can do is you can go to edit component and edit component definitions somewhere. Uh, I think it was update component definition. That also helps sometimes to fix this problem. 
but it's apparently it's not so what I will do is I will just go ahead and delete this one and maybe it shouldn't happen by the way but I think there is some problem here let me go ahead and use the exact values that I had shouldn't be happening should be able to connect everything itself 400 is okay WH is 220 point eight eight seven say update LH is ten thirty two point oh four update and WB is one thirty nine point four nine nine what a strange values update and LV for my case was eleven sixty point 6 8 I guess 6 8 update and press ok and now let's repeat that process of the bringing that EM structure from here control A control C close and let's control V here see if that problem persists here still escape and lo and behold, behold uh, that problem is gone so uh, that that's why although it shouldn't be happening this way but unfortunately you have to uh, copy the exact value that you obtained in you know, EM optimization and put it here and then the connection that you know that green line that you showed the green dots that means that there is something missing in the connection you can actually always zoom in and kind of you know try to uh, move this here and there and try to kind of you know reconnect and that will be helpful you can do that manually but uh, no one wants to do that just control Z all right so this is what we have now and what we will do is we'll go to em simulation uh, create em setup sorry uh, we could have used the earlier earlier one uh, layout substrate sorry so just check the substrate if that is same or not it's the same for the substrate that we defined earlier uh, then the frequency this normally you have to change again so it was for my case how much was it one to two gigahertz if i remember correctly and number of points i set to 201 adaptive kind of output let me see if there's anything I have to do here options mesh edge mesh turn on and sometimes you also turn on the transmission line mesh like you know how many cells when you do the meshing how many cells are there in that particular um, width of the line so we'll leave it to default now then models we have to create the EM model uh, that we will do later on first let's go ahead and close this so make sure that you change the especially sometimes you need to change the frequency again as you did earlier so we don't need that we just need the new so th remember this is the new layout window that we have created the BLC EM optim one right and that's where we define in EV went to EM we in the component parameter we define those parameters that were found in our schematic the optimizer schematic and then just copy and paste it the generated em layout from the previous case you could also design all this thing yourself like you, know, you can just go ahead and get for example emlin and i can just type in for example uh, w50 because that variable definition is now available here mil and l is l50 and i can just type in here and press ok and lo and behold i have that length of line and i can use this one and then similarly i can get mt from somewhere here right so mt is somewhere here we can get mt from here and we can create this kind of simple structure ourselves but like you know uh, you don't need to do all that kind of thing yourself that's why uh, it's always a good idea to define the variable first here and just copy and paste that cell that you initially designed once we have done that, what we'll do is we'll just simulate this. And save, close. You don't have to look at the result because we are not interested in the result at this time. Mainly we are interested in EM component, create EM model and press OK. So what we have done so far, we created a sub network of our layout and then we generated the corresponding EM model. So if you go here, EM Optim 1 somewhere, where does it say? 
em optim one so this is our new cell and what you'll see is that we have the layout window so this is what we were working on and then it has also created the em model and that's what, what we will use in the second part of this video to uh, to set up the optimization so for now we will stop here to keep the video length small and then we'll see in a, in a bit